Hey guys, I'm Danny Spees and today's 101 ingredient is summer squash. Now, much like winter squash, summer squash comes in lots of different varieties and the major difference between winter squash and summer squash is that summer squash has a very thin, tender, edible skin, edible seeds, and a much higher water content. So it makes for a very cool, refreshing vegetable, which is perfect in the spring and the summer. Adding some summer squash to your diet is a great way to pack in nutrients like calcium and magnesium without packing in a lot of extra calories. As a matter of fact, one cup of summer squash is only about 30, 35 calories. So this is another great veggie to turn to when you're looking to bulk up a meal. Now because there's such a large variety of summer squash out there, you're going to see that they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes and colors. Now in my opinion, flavor wise, they're all pretty interchangeable. They have a nice, mild, sweet, slightly nutty taste to them. Zucchini is probably the most popular variety of summer squash out there. It looks exactly like a cucumber, it's long and green, they can be bigger or smaller, and when you cut into it, it has a nice creamy white flesh on the inside. Sometimes you'll even see these at the grocery store with stripes on them or speckled with different shades of green and white. They can be really pretty. Now yellow squash are exactly like zucchini except they have a yellow skin. Now at the grocery store you might see something called crook neck squash and really all that is is a yellow squash with a crooked neck. Flavor wise they're exactly the same. Once you cut into them, same as the zucchini, that nice white creamy skin and the small edible seeds. Now visually speaking, the patty pan squash are definitely the most unique. They look like these little flying saucers and you can get them in either yellow or pale green and they come larger or in this little miniature variety. Now flavor wise, they do tend to be a little bit nuttier but still sweet and mild. And I gotta tell you, they make for a beautiful plate presentation. Summer squash is pretty much available all year round at the grocery store. But remember, when we buy our fruits and veggies in season, not only are they higher in flavor, but they're higher in nutrients and they're cheaper. So buying summer squash anywhere between May and August is when you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. Now when you're choosing your squash, all you wanna do is look for a nice shiny skin with no blemishes on it. And just for the record, I usually try to steer clear of anything that looks abnormally large because when they get too big, they tend to lose a lot of their flavor. Once you get them home, you want to keep them in the fridge. So just pop them into a plastic bag, squeeze all the air out, and then wrap the bag around the squash. Then just pop it into your veggie drawer and it'll be good to go for at least a week. Now once you're ready to use your squash, just give it a good rinse under some cold water and it's pretty much ready to go. Now remember, the entire veggie is edible, so you want to be sure you leave the skin on there because this is where you're going to get a lot of the nutrients from, not to mention a good dose of fiber. Now when it comes to eating your squash, it's good raw or cooked, so you've got lots of ways to go. You can keep it as it is and throw it in a salad, or you could steam it up, maybe saute it or put it on the grill. Lots of options. One of my personal favorite ways to make it is to cut it into bite-sized pieces, then put it right into a steamer basket for five or six minutes just until it's nice and tender, then toss it with a couple teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil, a clove of crushed garlic, a little salt, a little pepper, and some fresh chopped dill. Clean, simple, quick, and delicious. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with another Ingredient 101.